What's good, you too? It's Thanksgiving. I just want to tell y'all, happy Thanksgiving. But like... What's up, y'all? My boss told me, you know, I'm on the schedule of Christmas. I ain't mad about it because it's time to have. Y'all open up on Christmas. I was going to put the fork in the uh -oh. camera. What'd you say? No, I'm talking about Walmart. Walmart ain't going to be open. Nope. We are. Uh, oh, y'all open. Uh, I know y'all open every gas stations open every day. Don't give me a fuck about Christmas. Or... Man, what? They ain't trying to let a nigga go home see his family. Yeah. What good, YouTube? We back with another blog. I know I ain't posted in a minute. I really just been doing me for real. You go home next year, man. You gonna go home next year? Yeah. It might need to be seven years, man. I haven't seen my family. Shoot, that's what's up, man. Seven years. That's tough, right? Yeah. It's seven, time to go home. Seven years. It's time seven. to go. Time to go home, man. No Christmas, no nothing. No, man. Christmas, no nothing. Don't forget your cell phone, though. Which one is the? Oh, that's your phone. So, change the screen. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Just like I changed. It's a Thanksgiving video. I changed mine. Cause mine was a. Uh, I tried. I tried to switch up my shit on it. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just recording. If you watch this, you're a cool person. Cause I'm just posting the video. Thanksgiving video. We really just got night eating. I was at work, so I really ain't recording nothing this morning. But it's Riri. She don't be recording. Y'all probably ain't never gonna see nothing on her son. Flawless, and I got these down around my neck, and I'm bouncing, bouncing head to toe, baby, on my, and yeah, I'm thonking, and I'm in the studio, whatever, like this, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I got that groggy on my pants, yeah, I'm rolling, rolling off a sand, yeah, I'm okay, yeah, I'm joking, but look, <clears throat> today, bro, I'm starting to realize I feel like my life really gonna change when I go to Houston. Cause it's really like, in Memphis, Memphis is cool. I love Memphis to death. This is where I'm, this is where I'm from, man. This, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't ask to be, no, be brought up nowhere else. That's just me, that's my opinion. I don't know about other Memphis, Memphis, Memphis folks, but me, I like being raised here. I love it, I wouldn't be who I am. You know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't even be doing this now if I wasn't raised here. But when I go to Houston, bro, it's strictly grind, and y'all gonna see it. I might not post all the time, but y'all gonna see here and there. Man, I'm strictly grinding, trying to get to the money. I'm not coming back to Memphis till I got me. And that's just that, that final. I know that. You feel me? We folks, I'm so ready. I know that I made this video. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my mama. Even though she put me through rough times, she made me, right? I'm always gonna be thankful for her. Never gonna regret it. I'm thankful for, I mean, I ain't thankful for family. I really ain't. I feel like there's no point to be thankful for family. Cause there wasn't none of them there when I actually needed them. For sure, none of them. When you get born, you don't decide who your family is. So you're being born, surrounded by a whole bunch of people you don't know, you feel me? But you get to know them as you grow up. You understand what type of person they are, right? As you live with them, you understand what type of person they are. Thank you, America. Thank you, my son, thank you. But honestly, I'm not thankful for anything. I'm thankful for my mom. Thank you <laughs> not for family, man. Not for family? Hell no. My family ain't do nothing for me. Not one up, not one member of them. 
my family doesn't know this from me. I do this from my family. Oh, for real? Yes, I do this from my family. You do for your family. Y'all hear that? He do for his family. Do you, do you know what it, Iman, Iman, do you know what this war? Do you, do you, I've been at this war before. Can you tell me what this means? I'm the one-eyed man living the blind. What? You are the one-eyed man. I am the one-eyed man. One, you got one eye, but you live in the blind. I what? You are the one-eyed man living the blind. No. Like everybody around you is blind, but you got one eye. Okay. So basically, you know what I mean? No. Explain what it means. Let me say. Let me. Okay. Let me say this. Let me say this. For example, your family. Let me say. I'm giving you an example. Everybody in your family is not up and doing. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Let me just use this word. Financially, nobody is doing well in your family. But you are the only one doing well in your family. So a lot of folks are looking up to you. So that is what that means. And what am I leading the blind? So, so if, if you got five blind people, you have one eye, but the other eye you can't see with it. So basically, you're gonna lead the blind because you see. You so see, if if you see if, if, if I if I become financially free, I'm supposed to come back and seek or travel with my one eye open and let my family follow behind my wealth. Not, not really. Well, ours is culturally. Say because again? I, the reason why ours is different is because it's, a, it's culturally. Culturally. Yeah, because you know part of the culture? When you live in the Western world, you're African. You live, America is classified as the Western world. You know that? No. America, is, America is a Western culture. Okay. Canada is a Western culture. Yeah. So part of European countries is a Western culture. But we are from the third world. You know what I mean by third world? Like third world country. So if you come out from a third world country and come to a Western world where you have unlimited opportunities, you have a whole lot of opportunities. Your family back home who have limited opportunities. They have limited resources. The opportunities here is not like that back home. Yeah. So the 75% will depend on you. Okay, that's uh, definitely that's definitely understandable because your culture is different. Yes, that's what I was Your saying. culture is coming from nothing. So when exactly. one that's so what when I one person saying. when one person does get that something, mm -hmm. your whole family expects for you to come for back. You like, yeah, for you to you know, come back and do. And it's a respectful sure. thing. They're not they're not expecting you to just come back because they think, oh. I did all this for you. Yeah, you need to give me yeah, this but, money. You know, but sometimes some people, some people make it over Gary. Give me that candy. Some folks make it over. Some folks, no worry about it. Some folks make it over Gary. And if you come, so do you think after? Entitlement. You know what I'm saying? There's some people make it over Gary. It comes entitlement. You know what I'm saying? Just like for for example, Terry and say, man, give me thirty dollars for gas. Just give her $20 for gas. Uh -huh. She come back next week and say, man, can I get $20 for gas? You give her. So you do it consistently for about four or five times. The day you turn to a real hand got it, she probably gonna get mad. Uh -huh. Now you see that entitlement. That's what entitlement. So I encounter such every time. I tell you, I you think, do you think African family do that? Oh yeah. 90% uh, of my folks are. Do you think that's bad? Or is 90 good? 90% of Africans. People back home. Let me not, let me not just see my family, but let me not generalize. Most people back home are entitled. They have some certain level of entitlement. Do you think that's bad or good? That's 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 that's, that's, that's awful. That's that's not good. I got friends that went to school. Just because you went to school. So you friends. think? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you? Do you think your family would be entitled if you if you and my mom became rich down here? If me, if me and your mom became rich, you think your family would feel some, entitled? Some some of my family does feel entitled. And you think that's awful? That's that's not good. And that's what I'm talking about. I yeah. feel like the that's moment I get rich, if any of my family were to ever try and reach out, definitely, man, that's how it is. I would feel like you reaching out just because exactly because you never reached out when I actually needed yeah, you. Yeah, right? well, now that you see that I got something going on, that's when you want to reach, that's exactly. you reach out. Exactly, and that's why I say you're right. I'm not grateful for family 
because I still have yet to see any of them trying to reach out. The only time I hear hey is when I'm in front of my mom's camera. That's what, that's what I want to say. But none of them never called my phone and talked to me I, privately. I, I, I had a conversation with your mom the other day about it. And I'm glad I changed my number though. I changed my number and I'm glad. So not, not every of my family member have my number. Yeah, me too. So I, I changed my number just two days ago. So I'm so happy about it. Mm -hmm. But you know why? Because I feel like some folks reach out to you when they need something. Yeah. I mean, in my case, in my family, I got a whole, I got a whole bunch of family members. I, I still have family. We are about fifty something. Damn. We huge cousins. Fifty folks in your family. Fifty something folks extended. Not my, not not my immediate, but extended. Oh. It's like uncles, aunties, you know, we have fifty. So in my now, sometimes they will say, "Hey, bro," and da 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 da. Uh, another thing is when you're giving out the money, you, I might give somebody twenty dollars. Twenty dollars might be it might be a long song. Uh -huh. When you change it in that money, it might be a long song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but you can't keep you can't keep doing that every time. Yeah, I, I that. definitely agree. Now, you you have your own problems too. You have your own responsibilities but, too. too. But, but they're they too, don't get it that way. They're too blindsided exactly. by you giving them money because they think. If you move to America, automatically you reach. That is that is that is their own. That is their own understanding. That's that's how they look at it. Okay, so let me ask now, you this. If you think about it, it's change rate. Okay, let me show let me show you something right now. Let me ask you this though. Yeah, go ahead. D are you grateful for your family? I am grateful for my family because my family, my family pray for me every day. My family, my immediate family, talk to me every day. Let me show you this. See y'all? Hey, grateful. We got two different thoughts, though. Let me, let me show you this real quick. American so, family treat me wrong. He from Africa. I mean, you from Nigeria. My bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, you still Africa, though. You right. You got oh, it. So, when I, say, when I say somebody $20, this is what it is in that money. We use Naira currency. So, mm -hmm. I'm sending somebody to 2655 I can show it in there? Yeah, sure. Sure. In it. Look at that. That's this that is, American money? That is the exchange rate. And this is what? It's change rates. What is it called? Naira. That's called Naira. That's the currency they use in Nigeria. So why is it 22? It's 22, 655. What is that? That's $20? That's $20 because- It's just like pesos. It's, it's because of the inflation. Pesos. Yeah, it's Mexican. And the exchange rates. You, you know, know, you you know, know Africa what? just signed to BRICS, right? The new currency. No, to get rid of the U.S. dollar. I'm not talking about changing their regular currency. They're to sign something. Yeah, to change how they buy oil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I have something about because that. you know most countries use American U.S. dollars to buy country. I mean oil yep. and goods like that. Yeah. I mean when you when you do man, when you deal on, when you deal on a foreign exchange. When you do a foreign exchange, you do a daily business in, in global, internationally. Yeah. You gotta use dollars, pounds, euro. Yeah. yeah. But they're changing it. Africa just signed with Russia. They so don't want to use US dollar no it's, more. It's not. It's not Africa. It's a country called Burkina Faso. Who? It's a country. It's an African country called Burkina Faso. That what? Burkina Faso. It's a country in Africa. They speak French. I saw it on the news yesterday. Their president signed. Uh, their president went to Russia yeah. to see, to see uh, Vladimir Putin. They signed an agreement. So it's not the Africa country. It's an African country, but it's not the whole Africa. It's one African country signed a deal with Russia. Oh, yes. Because Africa is bigger, bigger Africa, 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 Africa is a continent. Yeah, it with, really is. With fifty states, with fifty countries. It really so 50 is. Fifty countries makes up an Africa as a continent. Yeah, I know. With fifty countries. Bro, Africa is huge, dude. It's huge. So I mean, if you yeah, ask man, me, yeah, man, just like I was saying, I think that, Peter, if you ask me, bro, mm -hmm. Africa is way bigger than what we get shown on the map. That's one thing people don't really understand that Africa got a huge land mass. Mm -hmm. Africa has. One but do you have you seen Africa on our maps here? Like what it looks like? Oh man. America, America is big, I'm gonna lie, man. It's big, but America Africa is, is huge. Africa is huge. Africa, what Africa, they show Africa, us, 
what they show us is what the, what's what the media watch. Exactly. What they show us, okay, yeah, Africa's a little huge, but there's other places that are bigger than Africa. But what I know in my mind, I know Africa is one of the biggest, 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 what what do you call it? Continents on this flat earth. You're right. It's the biggest. Africa is huge. That is no that is literally that's literally the motherland. It is. Mm-hmm. United States, let me not talk. I'm on video. I can't have nothing come back and hunt me, bro. Y'all ain't gonna kill me, man. I don't know nothing. What else I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for Riri. You're grateful for life. I'm grateful for life too. Being alive. But I'm grateful for Riri. What y'all won't know, Riri was there for me at my lowest time. And I didn't have a hella low time. But Riri, she kept it A1, bro. She's smiling and shit right now. <laughs> but Riri kept it A1, man. She kept it more real to me than any of you niggas could ever. Reed kept it so real with me, man. You got niggas in Memphis, man. You got nigga whack. Man, y'all not keeping nothing real, man. You folks not real. I can't even get in there. I can't even get a... I can't even get in a shootout with you niggas, man. You niggas gonna snitch so quick, man. Y'all folks ain't, man. Y'all... Man. Memphis... Memphis is cool. But... Unless you got locked in with some niggas... Y'all know each other in school and y'all nigga, y'all tight like, you know what I'm saying? Or you niggas grew up together? Man, these niggas will dog you, snitch on you, and do anything to get themselves out of this some shit. Man. And I mean it, man. Not just from no personal, not, not from no personal, oh, I've been through this. No, I'm talking real fact, man. I know this, man. Got my, man, for cool, man. It really is, but it got it up and down, man. But I'm grateful for Rito. I'm thankful for living, man. I'm thankful for God waking me up every single day. I'm thankful I get to wake up and open my eyes every single morning. Yeah, I hate the things that I do, like having to go to work. I hate it. I hate all that. I want to be financially free. But it takes time, man. All that stuff so straight down. But to be honest, I mean, you gonna get it how it go. I guess we gonna leave. Hey, it really just was a quick video. Probably gonna end it right here though. Anybody got something for me? Cause we finna go, yeah. You wanna go? Damn. Thanks y'all for coming, man. For so. I'm here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna catch up. Y'all, y'all good tatty, right? Yeah, 35. Why 35? Huh? Why 35? You should be doing, ten, you should be doing uh, Thanksgiving sales, like everybody doing Thanksgiving sales. <laughs> <laughs> so one more time. Be thankful, man. This is this is Thanksgiving. You gotta get up on you to be thankful. It's time to get with family, holiday, enjoy the moments, stay away from trouble, stay positive, man. Go out there and grind, make that money. Don't get in trouble. Stay away from negativity, man. Always keep it positive. No cat, y'all stay in the streets, man. Kill these niggas. Kill these niggas that disrespect you. Stay on the street, man. man. Stay in the streets. Stay Kill on the streets. <laughs> Kill every nigga that disrespect you, man. But we gone, man. Y'all have a nice time. Y'all go roll y'all dope up and y'all get to smoking, man. We out.